Hello, welcome to JD's Prep. In this example, triangle ABC, BD is a perpendicular bisector of ADC. So let's begin by just drawing a triangle. Right, visuals are sometimes helpful, and let's call this ABC. Okay. And then we're going to take BD, and we're going to take that to be the perpendicular bisector. So let's take here and that'll be D and it's perpendicular so now I know that these are right angles here and it's a bisector so I know that AD is going to be congruent to CD. Right? Based upon this information which statement can be proven? Well I know looking at my two triangles here that triangle ADB is congruent to triangle CDB. And how do I know that, right? I know that AD is congruent to CD because that was given. I know that their angles, right, angle ADB is congruent to CDB because they're both right angles. And BD is congruent to BD, that's reflexive property. So these two triangles are congruent by side angle side. So because they're congruent, now we can find other congruences in the triangles. So BD bisects angle ABC. Well, I know that ABD has to be congruent to CBD because the triangles are congruent. Because those two angles are congruent, then BD must be a bisector of that angle. So that must be true. We also know that BD must be a median. So that's true. So I know 1 and 2 are true. Now let's look at 3. ABC is isosceles. In order to be isosceles, the two sides must be equivalent in length. Again, I know these two triangles are congruent, which means we can find other congruences. So AB must be congruent to CB. Right? And if those two sides are congruent, then this must be an isosceles triangle. So all three of these statements are true, which means my answer is number four.